So now when this uh, uh, male and the female gametes, they have been produced. That is microsporogenesis, megasporogenesis, along with the questions we have discussed these points, right? So dono topics are cover up okay, along with all the introductory portions, how to prevent the self-pollination, how to prevent the cross-pollination, all these questions have been discussed. Coming to the next is when the gametes have been formed, what next the gametes have to be transferred further. Yes, Shivam, what happened? Just a second. Uh, okay, so what next after the gamete formation? Gametes have been formed, the next is the gamete transfer. And the gamete transfer, that is the transfer of the male gametes only. Male gametes only, na, because flowering plants with the pollen grains are instead of transfer only. And the process involved is called as a pollination. This pollination is further of two types. That is the self-pollination and the cross-pollination. We have already discussed these questions that how to prevent the self-pollination, how to prevent the cross-pollination. That you know, when there is a same plant, a single plant and a same flower is involved, whose uh, style and the stigma is there, even whose anthers are there. The anthers that disperse off their pollen grains, putting onto the same flowers, the stigma, then it is called a self-pollination. Even if there are two different flowers, but of the same plant, one is throwing out the male gametes and another is receiving it of the same plant, then also it is a self-pollination. But when there is a different plant which is involved and this is going to receive the uh, pollen grains or the, this is a stigma and the anthers, but the anthers they are putting their pollen grains onto the stigma of the another flower the flower of the another plant that is called as a cross pollination, right? And uh, this is the pollination mechanism that is the self and the cross pollination. So the three things are involved here. That is the flower of the, the same flower, the flower of the same plant or the flower of the different plant, right? After when the pollination is taking place, the pollination ho jati hai. Pehli cheez pollination jab hoti hai, the pollen grains are either at the two cell stage or at the three cell stage. If it is two cell stage, what are the two cells? That are the vegetative cell and the generative cell. But if it is a three cell stage, then what are the three cells? One is the vegetative cell, which will be further, uh, you can say, functioning as a tube nucleus. The nucleus of this will be called as a tube nucleus, not the cell. It is a tube nucleus, right? And the other two are the male gametes. So these are the two male gametes, right? The male gametes will be then uh, falling onto the receptive end of the female reproductive part that is called as a stigma. Then the pollen tube finds its passage or the pathway to fuse with the ovules that are present within the ovary. That is a later part or the last part of the uh, pistil. Okay? Stigma pe receive hua style then the ovary. Okay? So ye pistil ka last later part hai, jahan pe ye male gametes ko infuse karna hai. After when the pollination has taken place, after when this uh, tube has been generated, the pollen tube germination of the pollen grain has been taking place. Uske baad kya aega? For the next, there will be the, after pollination, there will be the fertilization. But the fertilization here, and especially the flowering plants, that is called as a double fertilization. So in double fertilization, two of the processes are involved. What are the two processes? One is triple fusion, and other is syngamy. Because we said there are two male gametes, right? Two male gametes fusing with one egg cell of the one of you. So, here are two processes, aayenge, triple fusion as well as syngamy. Syngamy is what? That is when one male gamete and one female gamete, they undergo the fusion, right? Both are having the haploid condition. Both when undergoes fusion forms a diploid structure, which is called as a zygote, right? The triple fusion is when two nuclei of the polar cell, polar cell, yani ki central cell, ke, two nucleus, jo hai, jo kal diagram banaya tha yaan pe, if you remember, within the female gametophyte, there was a central cell. So two nucleus are from the polar nuclei. Chika, ye dono polar cells ke hai, dono polar nuclei hai. Plus saath mein ek male gamete bhi aage. Three things are there. Chika, three nuclei are there. The three things are the three nuclei that fuses together producing a structure which is triploid and this triploid structure is called as primary endosperm nucleus that is pen. After their formation, all the other cells, seven-celled, eight-nucleated, 
उसमें से सेनर्जेट एंटीपोडल्स ये सारे क्या है डिजेनरेट हो जाते हैं एंड देयर ओनली द जाइगॉट बिकम्स अ डॉर्मेंट दिस अंडर गोज अ रेस्टिंग फेज डॉर्मेंट फेज सो दैट द पेन विच इज अ सिंगल न्यूक्लियस दिस अंडर गोज सेवरल क्लिवेज फॉर्मिंग द एंडोस्कोप ठीक है सो ये फर्दर बहुत सारी डिविजन देगा थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द एंडोस्कोम फॉर्मेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड बट इन योर एनसीआर डी देर आर नो सच टाइप्स हैव बिन डिस्कस्ड ठीक है by following any of the methods that is a nucleus cell division helobial cell division or a cellular cell division jaise bhi cell divisions ke sath ye banayega endosperm taiyar ho jayega a single nucleus undergoes the cleavage forming the full grown endosperm this endosperm will ultimately go and nourish this particular zygote the zygote produces a spencer or stodia type of the structures and then gets fetched up with the uh, you can say the nourishment from the endosperm this hole is providing the nourishment to the zygote and hence the zygote undergoes the further cleavage forming the embryo embryos will be produced after when the zygote is nourished and it undergoes the cleavage now how this embryo is going to take place how this embryo formation is going to take place we will just discuss it after looking on to the video that is of double fertilization let me share the video for double fertilization with you and is this visible to you people is it visible tushar samridhi can you please tell okay audible as well okay. tushar is it not audible tushar ji is it audible okay samridhi it is audible right tushar it is not audible to you why just a second let me increase the volume of the monitor as well flowering plants undergo a reproductive okay. process where there are two fertilization events this double fertilization right. occurs between the male the male gametophyte and the female reproductive organ the female gametophyte before the fertilization of the female and the male the present the organ contains one reproductive cell known as the megaspore or mother cell this cell is deformed and undergoes meiosis producing four haploid megaspores in the majority of species the haploid megaspore These are the three mitotic divisions. Eight nuclei. And seven cells will be formed now. This complete structure is known as the embryo cell. Within the established embryo cell, cell walls begin to form between most of the nuclei. Three cells, named antipodal cells, form opposite the opening of the ovary, known as the microphyte, and other three cells form up the microphyte. Two of these are synergies, and the other is the egg cell. This leaves two nuclei in the center of the ovary. The central nuclei are together in one long cell. It is the egg cell and the central nuclear cell which will eventually become a part of the double fertilization event. In order for the double fertilization event to occur, the male gametes, the sperm, must travel from the egg to the nuclear cell within the female reproductive organ. The pollen grain contains two main cells: a cell named the tube cell. Makes up the bulk of the pollen grain in the sperm cell, which at this stage is known as the gametal cell. To reach the embryo cell, the pollen grain is found on stage. Once landed, it begins to germinate. The tube cell forms a long structure down the stem and into the ovary. 
generative cell travels the blue tubes or new tubes. This white one is the tube nucleus in the front, okay? Once near the ovary, it divides by mitosis to produce two happy sperm cells. These are the male gametes. These kind of the questions can be there in your uh, MCQs also, right? Like uh, what differentiates this from the archaeophytes or the mosses and all. So this type of the questions can also be there. Having only the diploid zygote and a triploid endosperm. That is the feature of the flowering plants or the angiosperms, right? So these are the type of the, you can say these are the features of the uh, female, sorry, sexual reproduction in the flowering plant. Till which we have now, till now we have studied only the formation of the zygote and the endosperm. Further is the cleavages in the zygote that which initially became dormant then became active because of the consumption of the endosperm. Why it was dormant? Taki endosperm jo hai ban jai. Primary endosperm nucleus. Ye naam diya hai sirf isik nucleus ko. Hai? Aur is pure cell ko agar naam de, so that is, this is also called as PEC. That is primary endosperm cell. Okay, PEC and PEN, that represents the same structure. PEN is more commonly known as, zyada isko hum log zyada iski baat karte hai, because it's a nucleus which is first formed. In dino ki uh, fusion se jo pehla banega, that is the nucleus. Hai? And then when it gets differentiated from the, all the surrounding portions, se jab ye differentiate ho jata hai, in the form of the cell, then it is called as PEC, right? PEC and PEN, that is the structure. Then endosperm feeding the zygote leading to the formation of embryo. So now your time is over. Tomorrow we'll start with the division of this uh, formation of the embryo and further all topics after that. That is the post fertilization changes and all. Any question, any doubts if you have. Tomorrow we'll also discuss the questions from the uh, double fertilization, endosperm, zygote formation, pollination, right? So here questions on local discuss. Anybody having any doubt, any question? Yes.